What is up guys, Roshan here. If you're new here, I work as a business analyst here in Dubai. And in this video, we're gonna be comparing the business analyst role to that of a data analyst. As always, I'm going to leave the timestamps here so you can click on it and quickly scroll ahead to whatever part that interests you. With that, let's get started. All right, let's start with the role responsibilities. Now, there might be a huge overlap between a business analyst and a data analyst, and depending on what company you work at, some firms might use the terms interchangeably, but both a business analyst and a data analyst have to work with data. One second. Oh. Okay, sorry about that, my food just came in. But as I was saying, both a business analyst and a data analyst help drive data-driven decision-making in an organization. The difference though is that data analysts tend to work more closely with data, while a business analyst might tend to be more involved in addressing business needs or recommending solutions. So for example, a data analyst might spend a majority of their time gathering raw data from different sources, then applying a range of specialized techniques to analyze it, and finally extracting useful information from that data. These insights are then consumed by a business analyst who then defines the strategy and then communicates it with the different stakeholders. However, like I said, very often we're going to see a business analyst perform a function of a data analyst and vice versa. All right, moving on to the salaries. Here's what you get when you look at Glassdoor and Payscale for salaries of a business analyst and a data analyst. Starting with a business analyst, the salaries range from 6,000 dirhams a month on the lower end to 21,000 dirhams a month on the higher end. And on average, a business analyst in Dubai makes 14,000 dirhams a month. On to data analysts, their salaries range from 4,000 dirhams a month to 19,000 dirhams a month, average being at around 10,000. Now these numbers are not an accurate representation. And if you're starting off, don't be focused on the salary. Rather, focus on the skills that you would need to learn, which is exactly what we're gonna talk about next. Now, both these kind of analysts, they come from a wide variety of academic backgrounds, but generally speaking, business analysts might have a degree in a business-related field, while data analysts might have a degree in STEM fields like computer science, math or statistics. Now, even though most companies look for candidates with at least a bachelor degree, you can still set yourself up for success with skills like problem solving, critical thinking, communication skills, and being a good collaborator. Now, in terms of technical skills, let's start with the business analyst role. You would need to know SQL and Excel. SQL is so that you can access the data present in the data source, and Excel is so that you can create reports and share them with your leadership or stakeholders. You would also need to know MS PowerPoint because you would have to present all of your work to your stakeholders. What would be a good add-on is if you have knowledge of dashboarding tools like Power BI, Tableau, Data Studio and so on. Now onto a data analyst. Apart from SQL and Excel that we must know, you should also have an understanding of ETL tools and how an ETL process works. Now on the bright side, there are a lot of ETL no-code tools out there, so that makes that learning curve shorter. You would also have to learn Python or R, that is so that you can create models off of the data that you fetch. And as always, knowledge of dashboarding tools is a great plus. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next. Peace.